Now moving on to the SBE, the self breast exam. Now this is critical for educating clients. So when doing the exam, it is critical to teach and really educate the client what you are doing and talk to them during this entire examination. We have them do a return demonstration, which is basically called the teach back method. This is the most effective method of learning. So in the ER, we used to call it the see one, do one, teach one method. So in this same scenario, we want the client to teach it back to us. So how exactly do we do this self breast examination here? There's a few different ways to do it and to teach it to the client. And when they're doing the return demonstration, you want to make sure that you're watching their technique and providing them with that instruction. Because a lot of times they may be doing it at home, but not correctly. Mm. So you want to be doing that double checking. You want them to use their finger pads because remember, as we've talked about before, that has the most nerve endings. So we want them to use three finger pads, kind of like Scouts Honor, mm -hmm. for anyone who's in Girl Scout, Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. And you want them to do three pressures. So light, medium, deep, light, medium, deep, as they're feeling. And you want them to do any pattern that they prefer. There's the vertical line method, which would just mean, like it sounds, going up and down. Mm -hmm. Then there's also, if you do a circular method, going circles and coming in, which the American Cancer Society says that the vertical line method typically is most effective. However, whatever method that patient is used to using, just make sure that they're using the three pressures and covering all of the breast tissue, including up into that tail of spence. That's so important. Hey, did you see the new study guide that follows along with this video? So cut your study time in half and increase your retention of the need to know key points and memory tricks that love to come up on nursing school exams. Plus, get 900 more videos not here on YouTube, neatly organized into playlists. Try it for free. Visit simplenursing.com today. In a nulliparous client, which means a client that has had no babies by their own body, hmm. they've never been pregnant. The breast tissue should feel firm, smooth, and elastic, especially if they're under the age of 40. After pregnancy, however, the tissue might feel softer and looser. And anyone who is premenstrual, they may have in some engorgement that occurs to the breast. And that's normal due to the increasing hormones that occurs. So typically, we want patients to do the self-breast exam after their menses each month. If they do it during or right before their menstruation that month, the breasts are gonna be very full, sore, tender. It's gonna be a lot harder to palpate and it won't be as comfortable. So we want them to wait four to seven days after their menses to do the self-breast exam. So that way they'll be able to feel the most and it won't be as uncomfortable. So you want the patient to palpate all four quadrants of the breast and then also palpate the nipple. And so they'll want to use their forefinger and their thumb to gently depress the nipple tissue, including into that well behind the areola. And it should move inward very easily. If the client reports any nipple discharge that occurs, just like anytime anything comes out of the body, we would want to note cacao, mm -hmm. color, amount, consistency, odor. Now for a few practice questions. The nurse is preparing to palpate the breasts of a female client. Which technique would be most appropriate? correct answer is use the flat pads of three fingers. Yes, those are the key words, the flat pads of the three fingers here. Now a second question. When palpating the female breast for masses, the nurse distinguishes which of the following characteristics as a potential cancerous mass. Correct answer here is single firm fixed nodule. Yes, this is correct. So any mass that is firm, fixed, or even poorly circumscribed, or basically has rough edges that doesn't feel very round, and even qualitatively different from surrounding tissues is a strong suggestion of cancer. So remember, anything that is not even or really oddly shaped, we have to think about cancer here. Once again, to reiterate, if the client is still menstruating, when you're teaching them to do a self breast exam, do it based on their monthly cycle. So don't tell them do it on the 15th every month mm -hmm. because it might not be the same. Remember that before the menses, the breasts are gonna get very full, tight, heavy, sore. So doing 
a self breast exam would be painful. So they have those cyclic changes and we wanna avoid that. We're not gonna find as much. However, four to seven days after their menses, they should be able to do the exam. The breast will be less full, nodular, and less painful. Now for a few practice questions. When should a woman conduct a self breast examination with respect to her menses? Correct answer is five to seven days following her menses, basically after that period. The self breast examination should be conducted during the time with that last estrogen stimulation of the breast tissue. So this corresponds to five to seven days after the menses. Okay, another question. The nurse instructs a client on breast self-examination techniques. Which observation indicates that teaching has been effective? The correct answer is if the client palpates the breast using an up and down approach. The correct answer right there, the keywords, is the up and down approach. Now, women who have passed menopause, known as postmenopausal, we want to teach them that they have to conduct the self-breast examination on the same day every month because they don't have hormonal fluctuations that occur with menstrual cycles. Because think about it, they are post-menopause, simply meaning after their menses. It should have resolved already, right? Now, in terms of screening guidelines, recommendations are based on age and client history. So for example, age 20 to 39, a self-breast exam is recommended monthly. And clinical exam is recommended every three to five years. And clinical exams are recommended every three to five years for those 20 to 39 year olds. Now, beginning at ages 40 to 44, we recommend screening mammograms. Now, we can't really do mammograms earlier due to the younger breast tissue too dense, and we really can't see much of anything. So annual mammograms are from ages 45 to 54, as well as those self breast exams done monthly and clinical breast exams done yearly. Now, biennial mammograms over the age of 55 or continuation of annual screenings is recommended. 